West Bloomfield High School is getting all new furniture for the next school year. Some of this new furniture is currently in Mr. Avery's room. Um, the furniture is a big change from what we're used to. Um, it's definitely more flexible than the old desks, but it is uh, also more crowded. And um, I find that it's easier to get around the classroom because there is less furniture in the room compared to the sled desks that we had before. Uh, the drawback is there's less workspace uh, for the students, but they seem to be getting along great with it. While Mr. Avery thinks this new furniture is beneficial to his classroom, his students disagree. Um, I think it's like not really good for a learning environment. Like it's really small. Like I can put my arms like all the way onto someone else's like desk space. Um, as you can see, like there's like a thicker side and a thinner side, and like you could barely fit like a laptop here and somebody else's laptop. And like if you scooch like all the way in, you'd be touching other people. It just it kind of seems really cramped and like it would be really hard to do work like with it because I think you know if you're trying to take a test like you can't take a test here with four people like you'd have to be moved somewhere into like a different environment and like that can be stressful for a lot of situ for a lot of students because they're already like stressed about a test and now I have to go sit in this random seat or like not even have a real desk you know so I don't think it's like really good for the learning environment there's probably gonna be a lot of like instances of cheating and I don't think it's gonna help anybody I think it was a downgrade from what we had before because of like the lack of elbow room and everything, it, like all the problems it might cause. It's really small and especially like in classes that you need more than just like a piece of paper, there's definitely not enough room for like, your textbooks and your calculators and your equation sheets. So I don't like the lack of space and it's just really close and you have to take tests on clipboards and it's just not good all the way around. Um, my favorite thing is the couch. <laughs> like you get to lay out on it if your teacher lets you. And then my least favorite thing is like the space, the lack of space. There's like almost no room. Like there's people with like giant laptops and there's like barely room for these Chromebooks. Um, my favorite thing is definitely the swivel chairs because you don't really have to move with like being able to move. And then my least favorite thing is when you're sitting at the desk or table and your knees are literally touching the person's like across from you because there is like not enough room. My favorite part of the furniture is the chair freedom. Uh, you can do basically everything in these chairs, but worst part is constantly bumping knees with everybody. Mr. Avery hopes that this new furniture will create a collaborative learning environment for his students. Well, the idea of uh, furniture is that it's going to put students in a position to collaborate with one another. And because what we're finding is that we are not preparing kids for the workforce to the degree that we want them to be. Because the workforce today needs them to be problem solvers and needs them to be able to work together with other folks. And this is a tool that will hopefully help us uh, create collaborative learning more easily. So it looks like it's an impediment to uh, learning. In reality, it is to the old way. So what the challenge for the teachers and the students is, is to change the way they look at school as more of a group effort than just uh, an individual effort. And so that's what this furniture is designed around, that idea of collaboration. This is Shelby Smith reporting for Laker Update.